Hi surfers, welcome back to the channel. Time for another video. I know it's been quite a while since I posted my last pick a card reading. Uh, maybe because I was quite busy with <laughs> private readings. Have to say thank you everybody for uh, trusting me your stories and um, I can only say thank you for really good feedbacks and uh, positive thoughts that you are sending me. Um, yeah, then there was this monthly reading, so soon I will be starting to prepare uh, monthlies for March, but I have now two weeks uh, for it. <laughs> uh, so in two weeks I will start monthly readings as well. So. Um, now we have a little bit of time for pick a card reading. Um, as you can see, I already prepared here a selection. Um, I can only say that I recently uh, was told that that kind of reading is called psychic spying. <laughs> And it really amused me. I, I haven't heard this expression before, psychic spying. And it was explained to me that this is when you're doing reading for somebody that doesn't know. So if you're asking about your person and they don't know and then and if they didn't give you a consent to do it, then this is uh, called psychic spying. Okay. <laughs> it's really <laughs> funny for me. So let's do some psychic spying today. Um, so let's see, um, the question is, what is he thinking? Will he ask you out? Okay, uh, Valentine's Day is coming soon, uh, but nevertheless, this is timeless. You can watch this whenever you want, even if whatever kind of occasion it is and you would like to know if he will ask you out, you can watch this or what is he thinking. So we will see what, what the cards will show us. Okay, this is the selection. Uh, those are three uh, hand creams. Okay, three hand creams from my very... Uh, I, I really like this brand, uh, L'Occitane. Uh, it's from France, uh, from Provence. So this is the selection. Hand cream number one is Rose. This is group number one. Group number two is hand cream cherry blossom and group number three will be hand cream with honey okay honey hand cream so one two three pick the one you like the most imagine your person sit back relax um don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button that is somewhere here uh, follow me of course also on Instagram for my daily readings and if you're ready we can begin with group number one hey group number one group rose okay so what is your person thinking will they ask you out let's see Okay, so, okay, what is he thinking? <laughs> Look, he's weighing, <laughs> he's weighing options. <laughs> he's in, uh, uh, indecisive, in, indecisive, <laughs> I don't know how this word is pronounced, but he can't decide right now. Look, uh, this figure here, she is holding on one, uh, <laughs> um, standing on one, uh, one leg, one foot, and she is holding balance. So she is having two coins in her hands and she is 
bouncing up and down up and down but this because this is in the sign of infinity so this is like never-ending story okay this is not explicit yes or no um but it's it's not decided yet he can decide this person cannot decide just yet what to do um maybe he is considering some other person as well beside you okay or they just don't know how to uh, approach to you okay but we'll see what else <laughs> so this guy is a little bit uncertain right now What is he thinking? Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. So this one was first. So the Emperor and Ten of Wands. Um, he could be Aries, possibly, potentially, not necessarily, or you could be Aries. Uh, but somehow I have a feeling that because... So if this is you, okay, if you find yourself in this so the emperor is someone who is very powerful um someone who is ready to conquer the world um someone who is king of all all kings okay so this is very masculine okay i would say divine masculine so it's not divine feminine so somehow i don't see any female female side of energy here so i don't know if this is you then i would say that that um your person is a little bit intimidated by you okay but um if this is about him so i would say that there is a proud <laughs> and there is some there is proud in um in uh, in question okay again i'm just right now watching some <laughs> <laughs> a really cute Turkish uh, soap opera, uh, a really cute Turkish series. I don't know the English title, but it is about uh, a guy and the girl and the girl, and he has some tr serious troubles with his ego. Okay, so he's so full of himself. Okay, full of himself. Uh, he likes her, but somehow he doesn't know what to do with her <laughs> because she is so witty and she is not what uh, is he expect expecting and he's not used to that kind of girl, someone who knows how to stand for herself. And this is like, whoa, okay, so that's why this swinging because he doesn't know how to approach her, although he is so powerful and big boss and everything. Um, but this is get, getting to him, okay? Because Ten of Wands, this is quite a burden here. So he's carrying this wand, so he's working a lot, he is investing a lot of energy, uh, but somehow he is... Uh, we say that he is go that he goes three times around his waist to uh, go into the pocket. Okay, so instead of directly asking you out, he is, I don't know, doing researches. Do you have anybody? Do do you want to go with, out with him? Or somehow I think that his pride is a little bit. Um, <laughs> his pride is a little bit hurt <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> but um, at this point right now he is um, he is indecisive he doesn't know he is bouncing this he is juggling this decision what to do what to do um, but uh, I think he is investing a lot of energy into this so more than usually is uh, is natural for him, okay? Because he is the big boss, so people should come to him, not other other way around. And now he has to come to you. So, okay, let's pull two more cards. So, will he ask you out? Six 
of Pentacles and Nine of Swords. Well, and the bottom card is the Chariot. So moving on. I'm sorry to say, but I will say that he is playing with this idea very much. And um, this is just too much burden for him. Okay, so I think that he really is having troubles what to do, how to decide. So here we have, this is investing, uh, this is sharing, is caring. Uh, somehow I, I don't see that he would really go one-on-one, -on -one, but that he will use the opportunity to be in a group. Okay, somehow I don't think that he is ready to go one-on-one -on -one with you out on a date, but that he needs somebody beside, some group of friends or I don't know, that you get together somewhere outside so that it's not intimate. Okay, Nine of Swords, Anxiety, Depression, uh, he can't sleep. The Chariot is moving on, okay, victoriously moving on. So somehow it's also possible that he will say, okay, this is not for me, and he will just move on regardless. A little bit cold sounds to me, looks to me a little bit cold here, uh, but you're not the one who would uh, beg. Okay, back for the attention. See, on this card, this guy is giving money to all those hands that are begging here. Um, and maybe he is, uh, he is waiting for a little bit of a sign from you, so... But you shouldn't back from him, because he's full of ego. He's the emperor, don't forget about this. So... Um, don't back him, <laughs> okay? Don't back him. Um, work with him some otherwise. Trick him or uh, give him something to think that he will think about you because he can't sleep at night because of you, because he is thinking what to do, okay? Uh, although the chariot is a positive card, so I'd say that I'm sorry, I can't say um, yes or no, but I think that everything depends on his process of thinking and how much time he wants to invest into this. But right now he's really burdened with this. So if he will decide that he's not ready to take this burden with himself, then... I would say no, but if this will bug him that much that he will want to come close to you, then yes, then he will come to you. So I'm sorry, but <laughs> this is possibility yes, no. So six of pentacles, again, if you decide, if you divide it by three, again, you, you get equal shares. So yes or no. So somehow I would say that it is 50-50 right now. So, group number one, I'm sorry that I don't give you better news, but this is how it is at this moment. But don't forget that at the end you have your own free will to make your own choices, and so is this person that you are asking about. Um, so, I hope that everything will turn out well for you. Stay tuned for the next video, take care, and catch your wave. Hey, group number two cherry blossom hand cream so what is your person thinking right now will they ask you out let's see let's do some psychic spying on them i really love that expression hashtag sci spy <laughs> okay so, group number two, what is your person thinking? Will they ask you out? Okay, I'll take this one. Ooh, Ten of Swords, oh my god. This person is depressed. Okay, 
they are pierced. Um, they are really hurt right now. It's like doomed. It's like that they have a lot on their plate right now, so their heart is totally pierced. But the good side of this card is that um, they are already on their uh, road to heal. Okay, Seven of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. So somehow, I would say that right now... Um, okay. I already described this. So, Seven of Pentacles, this is card of waiting. Okay, card of waiting for fruits to be ready to pick up. Okay, but this is card of waiting, so this is a long period. But uh, it also means that you are picking up the fruit that you were nurturing, that you were working for it, so that it's not now ready to pick it up. And then here we have Ace of Pentacles. This is like a new foundation, new base, new um, new seed in the soil. So um, new stability, new opportunity, new offer. So somehow I have a feeling that maybe this person is thinking right now, um, are you ready to wait for them? Okay, because right now they are currently, look, clouds, um, depression, all those sorts in this body. So they are on their way to healing and this could take a little bit of time, okay? But somehow I think that they believe that they will be able to heal, possibly even with your help. But they currently can't offer you something more, okay? Not until they heal themselves, okay? But they are ready to... Um, to give themselves and you so both of you a chance okay but only if you are ready to wait for them so then after this healing they can offer you something new okay so a new start new beginning new opportunity so that you can actually um <clears throat> start something something fresh something solid okay so this is what he's thinking right now <clears throat> it could be excuse me could be about past relationships, I don't know, whatever is happening right now, maybe they lose their job or they are just going through a process of healing. It, it This is not something that goes away overnight. No, 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 no. This Seven of Pentacles is a long waiting card. Could be seven weeks or even seven months. This is also card of end of summer, beginning of um, autumn. Okay. But so this could be a really, really long process of healing, of getting to know each other, of accepting each other and so on. So right now, this person has a lot on their plate. They are asking themselves, are you ready to wait for them? Possibly that they will even ask you this. OK, but they are ready to offer you something more solid, but first they have to heal themselves. Okay, maybe even as I said, it's possible that you will help them if you are ready. Okay, it's up to you. <clears throat> so let's see. Will they ask you out? King of Cups, they like you. They really like you very much, no doubt. Um, so we do have here Earth, representing Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be that this is you. King of Cups, now they come, now this person came out, okay? He has feelings, he has emotions, he is mature, okay? So this is not some <laughs> teenager. Um, he is mature, he knows what he wants. Mm, and I think that this is really good. So he knows that he has troubles right now. So he has to clear this. He has to sort out his emotions. But he also knows that he likes you. Okay? That he is ready to develop feelings for you. But I, I think that he already has feelings for you. Okay? Potentially could be water sign. 
so uh, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, but not necessarily. We are talking about character, energy, uh, but potentially could be water sign. Um, but yeah, he is ready to offer you this cup of love. New solid, um, new solid um, relationship. So yeah. <laughs> okay, one more card. Let's see. Will he ask you out? I think that he is very controlled at the same time. So he's not an emotional wreck or something. Oh, okay. Queen of Swords. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh! So now we have a couple here. Yeah. He admires you. He admires you. He wants you. Look, this is a couple. And <laughs> from the position, look, he is looking that way and she is looking that way. So he is watching her in the back. Okay? And I think that this is you. So Queen of Swords, potentially air sign, Aquarius, Libra or Gemini, but potentially. Okay? We're talking about characters. So Queen of Swords, someone who is very witty. Uh, intelligent, good thinking, good talking. Um, I would say yes, that you are single, okay, and he's single as well. Um, could be that you are, could be a little bit sharp with your tongue, so he admires you, definitely he admires you and he is coming behind you to offer you this back and he has a respect Okay, he's respecting you. He has a little bit of um, uh, of fear that if you turn around, will you reject him or will you accept him? Okay, <laughs> but he is ready to um, to take a chance. Okay, so I would say yes that he will ask you out. But as I said, I think that this will be more like a friendly date. That he will just so i think that you will you will find out that he is a little bit you know troubled right now and look the bottom card is the fool taking new leap of faith new beginning okay going on an adventure so i think that this will be so ace of coins beginning fool beginning um this is on their, they are on their road to heal so yeah if you are ready to wait for them that they sort this out or even that you help them to sort this out i think that this could be a very good uh new beginning new relationship with this person so yeah this is what are they thinking and will they ask you out i would say yes it's very likely okay very likely I won't say yes for 100% because nothing is 100% in tarot, but very, very likely. Okay, don't forget that at the end you have your own free will to make your own choices and so is the person that you're asking about or as we now found out that we are psychically spying about. <laughs> okay, so group number two, I will leave it right here. Um, I hope that everything will work out well for you. Stay tuned for my next video. Take care and catch your wave. Hey, group number three. This is for everyone that picked up this uh, honey, honey harvest hand cream. Okay, so let's do some psychic spying on your person. What are they thinking? Will they ask you out? Okay, temperance is already falling out. So this is balance, this is harmony, but it also means that they're in some sort of a bubble. Somehow they are not taking any action. Um, it's like, oh, it's good as it is. She will wait for me. She has everything that she wants from me. So somehow they don't have a feeling that they should go in action. 
or that they should actually do something about this. So yeah, this is balance, this is harmony, everything is good. Ace of Swords, clarity, truth. Yeah, so exactly as I told you. So they believe that everything is well, super great, just as it is. And they don't know that you expect some action from them. Um, there is communication, no doubt. Ace of Swords is also clarity, truth, communication. So yeah, they are communicating with you on daily basis, but somehow I don't see that they would see that you expect something more from them. Okay, wow. Page of Pentacles. Although they are ready to offer you something. Uh, but somehow this is... This is more like a friendly offer. Somehow I don't see it as a love offer. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Um, could be that this person here is earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn not necessarily uh, potentially but somehow page is not so mature okay they are just at the beginning they are still exploring their options so somehow I think that they are just playing with the idea that they would try something with you that they would try something to offer you okay um but they are um they are fair and they are clear about their intentions so they are really trustworthy um i don't see that they would lie okay i don't see that they would lie so this is like a really friendly kind person this is how i see them mm. yeah so Somehow I would really say that he sees you as a friend, okay? Or that um, maybe you see him as a friend, okay? Somehow I don't see here right now this line, so we'll pull two cards more. Um, no, um, no huge emotions or sentiments right now okay but um somehow i see here a really good friend someone who you are uh together with daily okay you talk uh, you talk with each other you communicate messages texting i don't know um a lot of talking um so yeah somehow i see that uh, it's like being unsure so if he asks you out or that he gives you some sort of an offer how will you take it will you accept it as a friend or will you be thinking that this is something more and even for them I think that even for them um, so maybe they're afraid to take any action just because of this because they don't know are are you still are you in a friendly zone or there is a zone to be something more than this okay so this is how i see it okay so let's see will he ask you out but if you are a good friend i don't know why this would be a problem <laughs> so will he ask you out Six of Swords, so moving forward, moving forward, huh, interesting, Six of Swords is, yeah, moving forward, but also means leaving something behind, so removing yourself from some thoughts, 
from thinking, removing yourself from a drama, but somehow I don't see that there would be a drama. Um, could be could be also that you are going together somewhere, traveling, okay? Six of Swords. I want another card for explanation. So will he ask you out? Okay. Three of Wands and Page of Wands. Um, yeah, I think that... Okay, Six of War uh, Swords means moving forward. Okay, so we have here Persons in Boats. Three of Wands is waiting for your ship to come. This also means exploration, uh, going on a new adventure, um, waiting for the opportunity, and then Page of Wands is passionate offer. So again, page, page, page. So yeah, I would say that this person right now, maybe if you consider them a friend or they consider you as a friend, I think that they would like they would invite you to go somewhere okay not just out but somewhere that you will go somewhere uh, because both those two cards are like for traveling there is water so maybe you will go near water and I think that at that point there will be a spark okay a spark spark between you two. This will be an opportunity uh, which will show is this something more or not or will you stay just right here. So there is an offer, there is an opportunity, so those two pages, this is page of earth, those both, both those two pages are messengers. So definitely you will find out something. And I think that this pages will tell you. So, are you ready to go out from the friendly zone to, I don't know, uh, to friends with benefits? Because page of wands, this is energy, this is fire, this is heat. So, definitely I think that there will be change of your status, okay? Are you going from friends? Are, will you be... I don't think that you will stay... Even if you stay friends, okay? Nothing will be the same again. Even status, even this level of friendship will not be the same again. Okay, so maybe there is something more. Maybe there is sexual attraction between you two. So there will be a spark. There will be heat. I would say that this person is ready to go out from this bubble and they feel secure because you have a very good foundation in your friendship. And I think that they are ready to take you somewhere. So not just out, but somewhere on a journey. This will be a journey. This won't be just a simple date. Okay, maybe it will look like, okay, hey, what are you doing for the end of the weekend? Let's go somewhere. Okay, but it will be proposed to you as a friendly invitation, but this could be something more. There is four of pentacles, the bottom card, so holding off, holding on, sorry, not holding off, holding on. There is some holding on, so there is some restraint, could be from your side. Um, Maybe somehow I have a feeling that it will be a little bit awkward at the beginning. So yeah, if the situation and this page of wands will then show the real, um, the true nature of this relationship. Uh, Four of Pentacles holding on, so not sharing, being a little bit selfish, so holding on to something. So it's possible that you will not be ready to so that you will both, not just you, possibly both, that you will be just holding on to whatever you have, that you won't, that you won't have the courage to explore, is there something more? Okay, but there is something more. 
looks like that there is something more there is energy although there is no cups okay no cups that would show some emotions um, but definitely there is a physical attraction between the two. There is energy. There is um, a will to have adventure, journey, exploration. Could be that you will be travel buddies. Okay. But you will want to preserve whatever you have right now. Okay. Although there are sparks that there could be something else. Whatever it will happen, somehow I don't see that. Uh, I, I see that this friendship, this relationship, will never be the same again. Okay. So, but I, I, I think that um, yes, they will offer you something, an invitation to I don't know, journey, trip, one day trip. It won't be just a classical date. Let's go out to uh, drink or dinner. It will be something different. Okay. So, group number three, I will leave it right here. Remember that at the end you have your own free will to make your own choices. And so are they that you are asking about. So, this is psychic spying. <laughs> um, I hope that everything will work out well for you. Stay tuned for the next video. Take care and catch your wave.